I'm going to show you how you can customize your start screen. So if we go down to the taskbar and click the start button and choose settings, then go over and click on personalization. Next, we'll go over to the start area and we see a bunch of different things that are turned on by default. One of them that typically is not turned on by default is use the start in full screen. So if I click on there, we can see that it uses up the whole screen. Most people don't like that, so we'll just go ahead and turn that off. We have the Show Most Used Apps up. So when you click on that, you can see Most Used here at the top. Then we have Show Recently Added Apps. So if we installed anything recently, then you would see that. I have not, so that's why you don't see any. And then we show the app list in the Start menu. So let's see what happens when we turn the app list off. And we see that all the apps on the left-hand side are now gone. If I turn that back on, then we can see that the apps are back on. So one of the interesting things is to click on the Choose Which Folders Appear on Start. When I click on that, here's where things get very useful. So you can have File Explorer in there. You could have Settings, or you can turn that off. Documents, Downloads, Music, Pictures, etc. So I like to have the Network turned on and the Downloads turned on. So if I click on that Start button, and what we're looking for is over here on the left-hand side. So here's the settings, for instance. Here's File Explorer. Here's Network that I just turned on as well. Pictures were already there. Downloads, etc. So this section just handles the left-hand side of this Start menu. And a lot of people don't realize that that is an area you can customize as well. So that's how you can customize your Start menu. And that works in both Windows 2019 Server as well as Windows 10.